I'll be right out there. I'm going to open up my other, my laptop, my phones, not very charged. I did it. Whoops. Okay. Wow, how is that not muted? Okay, hold on. Good evening, Mr. Jones, Darlene, y'all. Yeah. How y'all doing? I just figured out, <laughs> even though you got your mic muted on your phone, you have to also mute the, the total phone or it's not really muted. First time I'm using my phone to go through StreamYards and then using my laptop to come up here. Good, good. Glad to hear it. 37 degrees here now. Mr. Jones, I heard you got a lot of snow. It's a little bit chilly here. It's supposed to be uh, very cloudy for the eclipse tomorrow night. I might have to let my puppy use my pee pad if I want to talk on here and not let him out, you know. No, I'm just joking. 
Um, I kind of wanted to let um, everyone know, I didn't men mean to mention what niece it was out there, but upon replay, I was kind of heated. And upon replay, I did mention what side of the family or I, I said a word that clues you right into which niece it is. So I guess I answered a repetitive question from uh, a couple of people out there. So that's okay. But, oh my gosh, Ohio is supposed to be like, I can't remember how many thousands of people are supposed to be coming to Ohio. I usually watch it inside anyway, because you get a better view. I think the last time it was cloud covered even though it wasn't a full eclipse. A child came out here to, tonight on their motorcycle. I mean, just got it like last year, so towards the end of the year, so can hardly wait for warm weather. But he's got all these like heated gloves and like a heated vest that goes on underneath his leather jacket. And so, and they kind of scare me. I'm used to like, I grew up on three wheelers, four wheelers, horses and snowmobiles, but uh, in dirt bikes. But it wasn't until my husband got his Harley that uh, I rode on the back of a motorcycle like up on a highway. And I'm telling you what, that crap can be terrifying and scary. First couple of times I just went with my sunglasses on and I'm like, nope, it's, it's, you know, I don't care if it's, you can't see as good and all that. You need that helmet, that highway going 65. But yeah, you see that concrete or that pavement underneath of you just going by. Yes, on the eighth. Let's be cloudy, it showed where the whole place where the eclipse is. And sorry, I keep losing my voice. I can't recover from that. And my smell, I can't get my smell back for some reason. But they showed the map and all the way from the top of the US all along the um, east side, it's just showing clouds all the way down. Kind of a shame. Um, I'm going to discuss how OG put me in that video because I haven't typed in a chat um, since I came back at all. Matter of fact, I don't even pull up the chat unless I'm on my laptop and I've been using my phone to do my live stream. So this is the first time I'm actually sitting on my laptop. Um, but I'll go on any panel I want to go on. Everybody else does. Everybody else does. And I don't have to go after a person to be up on that panel. And trying to, um, I don't know, I just don't agree. Everyone knows that uh, Gomez and I have had our ups and downs throughout the years. We've hated on each other. We've got into it. We've talked, um, you know, Nicola can't leave down. The one lie when everyone else LARPs like all the time, it was called out, but that's like her only weapon of choice to use against me with it. Um, OG, just because he wants to destroy Gomez, he's going to call out, I'm, you know, what it is is to um, isolate him, to have no one around him, and OG, it's not going to work. 
So I refuse to be that way. Um, I disagree with what went down, with what everyone calls them out for. I'm not even going to speak about it on this channel. I don't speak about it. To me, it's in the past. It's not that way anymore. And he's a far cry. Uh, he, he's nothing but, there's no crimes against children that he's committed. Everyone screws up, if, you know. I don't care what he says about it. To me, it was a screw up that, in my opinion, I don't think he can admit up to, but that's on him. And if he says it was a LARP, well, there's a lot of people who lie about stuff on here. Or there's a lot of people who we don't believe and they're telling the truth. So regardless of which way it goes, uh, and I don't go over there often. I don't go over there often. So I find it so hypocritical because I, I had been over on Scotty's panel more than I'd been over on Gomez's panel. But it's an agenda he has. I think he keeps eye on them because they tag each other. Was he? Just last year? Why can I still hear myself, people? Does anybody know about phones and live streaming on two devices? Um, well, like I said, I disagree with it, but do you want me to disown him for it? Is that what people expect, to stay completely away from him? Because I disagree with everyone out here on all kinds of things. I get up on panel panels who people have been completely full on hardcore, like all the drama and stuff going at me. You know, I'm fine with like that. It's just... Like, I'm not saying you can't do that and have fun, but um, there's a limit. And I'm fine as long as it stays at that line and doesn't go past that limit. But the same with everybody. I hear it. it echo cancellation. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> My echo cancellation is on. I see a spot where I can like mess with it and try to figure it out, but I'm afraid I'll just drop myself out. Am I muted now? Can you hear me now? I'm muted when I walked over to my phone. Okay. So what I did was just put <laughs> the full roll of paper towels over it because it's plugged in on the kitchen. And I clean the house today. I don't have anything laying out to even lay over it right now to mute it out. I'll have to figure it out when, okay. I think it's because I can hear it a little bit is what it's doing is bothering me. But I like using the iPhone. The only thing you can't do is screen share. And it does eat, StreamYard does eat your battery down. But, um, I mean, I see all kinds of stuff that people have did on this panel and they're still allowed in chat rooms, like what just went down this past week. Um, what he did was awful too, in my opinion, yes. You know, and I'm gonna openly talk about it. Oh, 
Oh, let me check. Nope, that's muted too. Yeah, it's coming from my phone. And I didn't open up YouTube. I just went straight into StreamYards on my phone. But thank you, Darlene. Anyway, he can say what he wants. I'm going to do what I want. And if the topic ever comes up, well, I think I've been on the panel numerous times with him when the topics come up. And I said, stop right there. I'm going to make an announcement. I disagree with you on this. You know, I don't want to be in this conversation. And so, and then I carry on. And that's the way I, I'm going to be. Um, okay, the echo is on my side for some reason. I have to figure out how to shut my phone volume completely off because I muted the side and I muted the stream yard. My YouTube's not pulled up, but I can still hear myself through my phone. That's weird. Uh, there's a couple other things I wanted to mention. But if there's any questions, if anybody wants to ask me any more questions, feel free to ask me about that before we move on. I'll be completely open and honest. How am I trying to justify? I've had, them, had it out with them on that topic. We went hardcore at it over that topic. So how would that be trying to justify? I don't feel it is. Yeah, it's in the past and he doesn't support him anymore. Um, I think everyone's all screwed up in their life. We see the things that have happened on the internet. I mean, no one calls out Clovis for talking to painful. And that was actually out there in the public, got in trouble for it. Yes, I did. I did use this panel and you know, no offense to um, Gomez. I think <laughs> I think he got the hint because he's like, when I come up there, he's like, go ahead with what you want to say because I, I know I changed the topic. I did. I don't. I didn't mean to be rude or offensive to anybody like that. It's just the way I wanted to start off things, not making my own channel, trying to come out here, be heard. Without, I was hoping not to have to make a channel. Matter of fact, I think I went on um, Scotty's second after I went on tacos. You know how many people I think are creeps around here and what they do? A lot of people that, that I've seen you say hi to too, Mr. Jones. Um, what is creepy? You know, it's just, and I just don't like, like to hear things like, nobody likes you, everybody hates you, nobody wants you here. All those, I don't know, even if you don't like a person, I don't understand why people do that to other people. I just don't get it. Don't have them up on a panel, don't engage with them or something, but the the um I don't I don't understand that and I'm not just talking about him I'm talking I just I mean it gets heard by every I hear it everywhere it happens to me a lot too I saw it happen it happens to people I dislike um happens to almost all of us out here at some time or another so yeah that's true that's true that's true. And yeah, people do have to understand when I came here in 2016, he is one of the first people I met and what you guys called creepy. 
him and I have extremely good conversations because we did. St- I did start off in the Bundy. I don't know where he started off. And it's not like we have any good, huge friendship to stay on this topic forever. But I just wanted to explain, you know, OD or nobody else is going to um, force me to uh, be on certain panels or be away from somebody. How many people come up here and blame it on everybody else? You know what I heard FM say tonight? He's getting on people. And you know what? He talks about lurkers and all this. Let's just go to this right now. So you got FM over there. Talking about lurking as he records everything we all do. And then he can come back, go to his, and if you're in his chat or in Scotty's chat room and it's recorded, he records the chat room too. So then he goes to the chat, past chat rooms and brings up quotes that you said in Scotty's past chats to call you out on. That's how much of a lurker that dude is. Did it all night tonight to that J man. Did it to Nicola when they got into it. And then he goes on to bash everyone because we're not doing research. Who else is doing research in here? I only see Mr. Jones and blah, blah, do research. Well, um, who all came to YouTube saying they were here just to research? Like, what the heck there? I didn't come to YouTube to research. And who thinks they can get their full voice heard on YouTube? And how can Gomez be a distraction to FM? He's one person. What is FM going to change in this world up on YouTube in Scotty's in a drama chat, chat, dropping the same links over and over and over again, bragging about how he can hit a recorder and screen capture everything in a top in topics that he's learned about. I'll challenge him any day to any of the things I've learned about in life. Like, Mr. Jones, you could challenge him about farming. Is it dairy farming that you do? I mean, we all have our forte and our thing. Sheep farming, I think it is, Ms. Pike. I can't remember what kind of farm farmer you are, but I know you're a farmer. So I was just um, trying to use that. We all have our expertise, in other words. You don't have to be um, knowledgeable or even want to. I, I don't want to join in on those conversations because you know what? I already know. And all you're doing is preaching to the choir if you don't think people don't know around here. We all went through that. And that time's passed on here. It's not that rogue on here anymore where you can get any of that out besides passing a link. And to feel pressured that you're supposed to be knowledgeable and hate on a whole race of people, in my opinion, is just wrong. You can say whatever you want about what's going on with the system, but to call it out in general is just wrong. So a lot of people have a lot of things wrong with them. A lot of people have a lot of things wrong with them. And, you know, so to each their own. To me, OG is just a wimpy weasel. I think he's from Britain. And as people thought it was funny to call me a lard ass over there, well, I saw in his comments what female was in there. I won't say her name, but yeah, nice company. I 
I just, I don't know who we're going to educate in all of this stuff. And then, you know, I seriously did try with Scotty. I went up there and I was nice to him. And you hear him tell his side, well, Becky came up, said she had a stroke, this and that. And in the Hangout link's there. You just have to tell me if you're joining because my phone's not beside me. So I won't see that you've joined. Correct, Darlene. Good comment. There is no education. No, yeah, it's just drama. Maybe some, some putting out truths in between the, the drama, but it's still, it's not education to anyone. Not in the 20 people that you have in your chat room where the five people type in or anything like that. And if he thinks he's better than Pat or anyone else when he writes paragraph after paragraph in chat rooms, you know, I, I just get tired of all of it, singling people out and trying to destroy them. And I know I came out like that. Well, I didn't come out like that. I came out nice. And then it started. Oh, I don't mind drama. I don't mind drama because I like to discuss things. I don't like to be mean. But I don't mind drama. I don't like to be hateful towards people. And I don't care what you have to say about it, Mr. Jones. I see you trying to act 20 years old, old over there when you're an old man. So it's like, you enjoy your drama. You enjoy your trolling and what you do. You have to enjoy hurting people to a certain point because that's what you do. That's what y'all does. I tried to be nice. I tried to be nice to y'all and you know what he did? He ate it up and, and um, spit it out. So, <laughs> yeah, I saw your comments. Sometimes you do. Yeah, sometimes you do. It is a soap opera, like I said, and I don't care what anyone says about me not never leaving. Of course I left, of course I left. But I'll tell you what, it is like days of our lives where you, you could turn off the soap opera on TV, which I don't watch TV, Scott. That's why my TV's so small because I haven't bought a new one in forever. I would just go out and buy one if we wanted one, but go figure. My husband's the only one that uses the TV. And he, you know, he's fine. So, uh, yeah, but. Oh, I love gardening, darling. Working outside is my favorite thing. Not really, not really gardening. I'll tell you what, the weeds drive me nuts. Um, but I enjoy mowing the yard, being out in the flower beds. I enjoy pruning trees, picking apples, picking grapes, being with the animals, all that good stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, we all know I've been listening. I said I was going to click once a week. Scotty gets off when he knows that someone's tuning into his channel, but he tunes into everybody else. Thing is, is I wasn't tuning in for the drama. I had a purpose. Do I, yeah, I haven't denied that I've played in drama, but I, I didn't tune in to the, for the drama. Instantly, you could see Scott's control. Today, he had a good week drama streaming this weekend. He enjoyed Diana's stream. Mass One enjoyed Diana's stream. They enjoy Scott's stream. It's on fire, isn't it, Yaya Mama? Not really. The same people always, same thing always. 
but it was the control because I went up there nice to him. And as soon as he saw me over on Gomez's, boom, it was on. The LARPing started on me, straight into my knees. And I was looking at past videos of when Eric and all them did that. And then I pulled up the stream from Kim's from 2022. And there's Scott doing it. He's promoting this kind of stuff, folks. He's promoting it. You all cannot deny that it's been day in and day out. I wasn't even over there. I haven't typed in his chat. I wasn't on his panel. Doesn't matter if I'm recording or not. And he brought that stuff up that I caught on that recording. And we all know how, how bad it got. But would he say, because I said Deborah, his mom, he was coming at me. That was my first little dip, dip in my toes in the kiddie pool to get my tip of my toe wet with him to let him know, hey, it doesn't feel good to be, to have it done to you, to have your family members said out loud or for them to be used against you. I heard what he said about his grandma and his mom. Did, does he want me to go there and mock fun of it, make fun of it, call it out, make fun of what happened with this family? Of course not. Or maybe he does because that would give him an open pass. No, I did not. Say whatever you want, Jones. No, I did not. What did I do last year? None of that. I never doxed anybody. I never called out any family members. I never went into anybody's desk. So quit lying, Jones. At least speak truth if you want to have any credibility. Because that comment right there, you have zero credibility. Tell me what I did. Tell me one, one person that I doxed or, you know, oh my, yeah, and you come back with, I create drama like other people. And I already done a minute. No, it's okay to do drama, but there's a line. So come back with something better for the lie you just said. Because that's not going to work. Scott has to have the control. He's promoting it. You heard him. I tried to tell him it wasn't a game. Would he tell me? You need to up the levels. I'm a high level troll, Becky. You cried on Diana's, you're not made for this. You can't touch me when it comes to feelings and emotions. Who said I could? Who said I'm a troll? Who said I wanna do what he's doing? He's the one that brought up my niece on Diana's. And for the idiots in the other classroom across the way there, it was when Scott and I was on the panel. And she put me in the basement for, for I said, F you to Diana. But I listened to over four hours of Nicola ramming a pitchfork down Diana's neck. And she said, what do you do? I would have had to scream to get over. <laughs> um, Knock her off the panel, mute her. It's not too hard to figure out. You knew how to knock me off the panel. Do you see where there's different limitations for different people? There should be a standard people go by, whether they're going to allow something to a certain limit or not. I don't care who you are. Trolling's fun. I get it. I'm not trying to be a hard ass like nitpicker like that troll away have fun do whatever larp away do whatever you're gonna do i've not mentioned any of that type of stuff one time
Right, right. I have to say what Tams is saying. Ray Ray. She said, I don't know why she put my name in that shit. I've never did anything or told her about her family. She always goes in on my husband. She's went on my niece and told me to get a rope numerous times. Numerous times. She's straight up lied about it. And then what's Bellamon up there? He don't even want to entertain what happened publicly with Nicola and him. Their digital online relationship. Why? Because he said it's personal. Oh, so Scotty drops that, right? He did right away. But he don't drop it for other people. They're fair game. They're families. They're pets. They're horses. Same way with Nicola. FM does not do that. I want that clarified. I don't hear him do that. He might call me out and say something, but he doesn't ever act or talk that way. So, you know, like, what FM does is, like, fine. What everybody does is fine, except for what Dr. Mingley does, which I have a feeling one of the other trolls in there is also Dr. Mingley. Either Australian or Britain. Yeah, close to 24 hours. And then went over to Scotty's and spent all night long tearing it up to anybody that typed in that chat. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. John says, I don't think YouTubers bother pets or horses. Although Connie Elliott came to my house, my horses were threatened to be killed. She told me she'd come to my house numerous times, and my horses were right behind my house. Huh. Go figure. For fuck's sake. Mr. Jones, go put your full name, your address on your avatar and then come back. And then tell me how it's entertainment purposes only. You're a lot older than most of us out here, aren't you? Maybe you knew what this place was like before you started lot, or coming in here. I didn't. I'm not saying that's an excuse, but it's not an open door for people like Eric who come to you and apologize, scared to death he's going to get some kind of charges pressed because he knows what really went down. To, you know, after two years or three years, how many years did he have that up and played it almost Every weekend or every other weekend. What was it? Four or five hours long? The whole stream? Three to five hours long. Whatever it was. I'd have to look it up. Hammering it. Yeah, right. No, I'm not. You stated your age before. I'm just not going to call you out on that. You stated an about age in there. So it's like, yeah, you, you're just trolling. You got busted lying. Trying to, you're just trying to trigger me is all you're trying to do. Now you're flat out telling me I'm older than you when I know for a fact that's not true. You've been around too many years and I've seen you typing and talking about yourself too much. What is this shit? No, you know, that Nicola can do, but no, no, no. You're not going to go there. You're not going to use me and Felamon for your LARP or anything. Well, but fair game, right? Not with me, but with everyone else out there that does that too. The Scotty's out in the world, right? Diane, I don't want to hear Diana's excuses anymore. Mild drama always ends bad. She knows how to use those buttons. You heard them. They're in a private hangout together. The camaraderie, the way that, you know, things are recorded so that they can go back and this is kept and that is kept. But, oh, Becky recorded us. She's going live again with something re-recorded. 
when every single thing you put out streamed across Scotty's stream, except for my last video for some reason, huh? And don't worry, Nicola, I know how your name's spelled. I just haven't corrected it. And then everywhere talking about the mental health, the, the mental health aspect of it. I'm going to tell you guys what. Yeah, I did get help back then. I got put on antidepressants. I talked to somebody and I'm on no, nothing. It was short term. And I can't say that for a lot of people out here. And the Clovis and Tacos that want to tell you how mentally ill you are are the ones who have a mentally ill diagnosis and are on medications. But it's termed. Scotty's girlfriend, he's trained her to be a troll. She's ready to go trolling. He trains all of you. And if you guys notice, you guys all start getting worse and worse. Look at you your mama joining in on it. Mr. Jones, I haven't, I've, I haven't seen you go past that line. I will say that. I haven't seen you go past that line. I appreciate that. Every time I tried to talk to Scotty, he thought I would, he, he would call me out as a professional victim, just like Angela does. And everyone joins in, Nicole, everyone. And then he starts yelling over you. And then Nicola pops up and then they tag team you and he talks. So you can't even ask a question. I tried to go up there three different times before I, I did my first live to talk with that dude on quitting and stopping. I couldn't even ask one question for all this screaming and yelling. Who has the sickness out here? Me or him? Because I'd venture to say it's him most definitely. Especially since he takes pleasure on it and bragged about it today. All the way down to, I'll take your wrench. You don't get a wrench. I don't, you know, everyone gets a wrench except for um, these certain people that I want to um, say are no good, that nobody likes them. They need to go kill themselves. Um, their family members can't even stand them. Yeah. Just like tacos in there as I'm doing my live stream. I'm sitting here talking about death and her family standing up for her. Even though she can't stand me. As she's over there mocking the loss in mine. By the way, it's just an educated guess, but I think orange is tacos. And I'll tell you why it's an educated guess because that'll be the next thing on the street again is I'm trying to guess who socks are. Well, because every single time that woman went live, orange was there. I don't care if it was two in the morning. I don't care if it was five in the morning. I don't care if it was seven in the morning, eight in the morning, orange would be the only other chatter with two viewers, sometimes three. Never coming out of suit or out of character. And you know, when I talked to her, when I came back, I said, I can't stand that orange. I, you know, and she, she laughed and giggled. I mean, she gave it away to me when I talked to her. That's another reason why I think it's her. Because just throwing eyeballs around, you can go into enemy territory and pretend and get your rocks off. And she's one that likes to do that. 
and then go live stream on her own stream and pretend like she's so sick of the drama and she's got to get away from it. And the Muslim haters, I haven't seen anyone hate on her for being a Muslim. Except for to call out that she uses the faith, which she does. Do you guys need to hear the recordings of it? did cover my tracks when it came to that woman. And it just pr progressively gets worse or worse because you up the ante. But you say one family member of theirs and all of a sudden your niece, your husband, your son, son your... You, Whatever he can get his hands on, his fair games, your animals, your pets, whatever he can do that you love and he tries to hurt is a game, a game. Why can't you just troll that person? Go at that person, Scott. And the ones that I did it to when I came back, I want to make this very clear, are ones that have never admitted their faults but lied about it. Or fake did an apology like Eric and then started doing it again, like Kim or not. Trying to deny she did it. And then when she did it up on her panel, it's because I said it to her. Oh, yeah, after Lori and her were telling me over and over again to get it and I say it back, oh, then unfair game, right? It's all about a bean commercial. That's the video I listened to today. But then here, tell by her, nobody ever admits to their wrongdoings but her and a few others. Bullshit. She does not admit up to her stuff. At least I came out here and claimed what I did to her. I owned it. Why would I go at you, FM and Nicola, about your relationship? Why would I? Just because that's what you guys do over there? FM, your girlfriend? Scott and his girlfriend? Clovis? OG, you're no better. You call people names without even knowing them from across an ocean and you look like a weasel, dude. And you mumble. And people want to make fun because I've had a stroke and I have a lisp. God forbid anyone's hard of hearing, they're not going to hear you. Obviously sitting with someone in the household that you don't want to speak loud. Am I going to call that out? Say you live with daddy or this or that? No. Am I going to call Urban out, Urban Disciples out because I think he's weird because he's living with his grandma? Oh, he said five generations live there. Whatever. Who said they can disrespect a man about his grandma? I don't understand. And then you guys all call him a creep. You know the dude is not that way. You know the dude isn't into kids. So what if he's a bit eccentric or whatever, someone you don't quite click with? Doesn't mean you have to ostracize him. And I think that's why he does it back to you guys now. Because I remember a year or two ago when, I mean, he'd sit up and have, as long as you were cool with him, he was cool with you and have a good conversation. It wasn't until you started in on him that he started on you to hold his own. 
Same way I came out here. The way he has the chisel too. Wow, just wow. And the worst you got is because you don't like the way he talks or the way he's gonna question you. Mass one, you were a fat one up there. You put people down the way you talk to people and you think it's funny. But you go stone silent when someone hurts your feelings like Katie did, huh? Dude didn't even know me and he joined in on it. And a quick sorry when I got threats because supposedly I was doing something to him because he told everyone I got all this stuff in his phone, thinking it was funny on James D panel, joining in with tacos and Angela. A lark's funny until you start getting it like that. And I don't give a care what anybody says. I've had a YouTuber come to my home. So don't tell me I can't reach in real life. And I'm sure you would be worried about your animals too, Jones, if someone came up around your farm. Hell, people don't even know you. We'll go by and <laughs> use a paintball gun to, to shoot at your cattle. Cut off the tails of horses. Just to have fun on a Friday night out on the back roads. Happens around here a lot. Steal a pig so they can have a hog roast. What started with me was when Damien accused me of being in, he twisted the Gary Hunt stuff because he didn't want to get blamed with it. He twisted it to Eric and Lori and them. And then all of a sudden it started. And then from there, we all know the history. Before that, everything that was uploaded on my channels was pet tubes, pet videos. Yeah, well, I never signed into any ops. Being a YouTube live streamer, being through the Bundy stuff, that was a psyop enough. That was a honeypot enough. And people say, oh, the Muffin's not anywhere. The Muffin crew's not anywhere around here. Damned if they're not. Who do you think Tacos is hanging with? Does anyone not see her in there with Jedi? And Thomas and all them? Are they that blind that they don't see Be more And her over there and that. Are they that blind to think? <laughs> Jesse thinking it's okay for Clovis to call me out on stuff about my husband, but to say nothing about Jesse wanting to auction off a pair of his women, his wife's used underwear to the guys who hate him online and think and be serious about it. For fuck's sake. My man would ever do something like that to me. The disrespect. How much money you sleep with your wife? You might as well say fuck. I'm sorry. That's my feelings.
I don't care if he likes it or not. He can call me a troll. He can tell me I'm with anybody he wants. It's not true. But I'm damned if I, I don't voice my opinion on that when everyone has an opinion about me. And he flaunts it out there publicly each time. And again, how is he any better? I think the way Hoax Wars has gone on has actually been easier than what Jesse does on his panel and how they talk about people. And I don't want in with either one of them. I want nothing to do with any of them. They have become what they stand up and talk about they don't want done. They have become when I'm calling out. Making violent videos, passing them off as cartoons on people. Mocking on their looks. So then they mock back and then he has to change his profile and suck his gut in a little bit more to take another profile. It gets old. It gets old watching Clovis put up there, Thomas is a bitch or something like that. And I'm not defending Thomas. What I'm doing is calling out hypocrisy here. I don't know him. I don't want to know him. If this ever reaches anybody that's near him, don't ever suggest anything of the such. I want nothing to do with it. She wants to be targeted by that dude, in my opinion. She goes up there and talks about him like she's been targeted by him, and she hasn't. She wants to become a target. And we all know what family members she talks about, why she's on that panel, knowing that that panel's being streamed or recorded by what they call the other side, their, their arch nemesis over there. Straight up, I don't care what they say, what they think, if they disagree, they have become what they say they're fighting against. And talkers, you can hide as much as you want. I see you were welcome in with you. All in the name of research, right? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. You and I both know that, right? As you go on hating about all the Christians, what are Christians doing to you, by the way, tacos? Your little community post where I, I went to the mosque? Yes, still lied. I never went with Rich. I talked to Rich, and you were stalking my page. It's back when you were stalking me. Years ago. Hold on. Call me out on my shit when I'm up on panels. Please do to all you hearing this out there. Call me out if I go after something of yours and you're not coming after mine. If you haven't apologized to me, or I don't even need a flipping apology. If you haven't owned your shit and hide from it, like the Kim Arnott's out there and like the Colleen Cocars and like the Clovis Harmons and the Scott Bromages and the Nicolas, own it. I own what I did to the mechanic. I own what I did to Nick. You all heard me own it. I don't watch that dregs of YouTube too. To me, they're in with Thomas on the other side. 
as far as I reached out was Jesse's. And then I saw that hoax wars and found out about that Jedi, briefly watched that Jedi. Which I don't see that Jedi doing much, but streaming pretty good information, in my opinion. So what happens behind the scenes and the communication, the good friendship he has with hoax and all that, that, you know, lets me know. I'm also pretty suspicious that, um, yeah, we'll just keep that one under tight right now. Yeah, he creeps me out too. The way he offers his wife up on a platter to people. I know he's proud of her. Shit. Okay. But man, it's it's too. And some people are like that. Some people are swingers, whatever, you know, but and I guess that's okay. It's not illegal. I guess it's okay. It's just something I would never if my husband tried to speak to me like that or or try to offer me up as a <laughs> wow i would think i would be um, i'm glad on my husband's treasure and not my husband's treasure to share in to all the men out there like jesse said uh, hoax war he buys a pair of underwear or whoever it was he said he's like you probably jerk off to it wow wow your wife's used underwear and you think that's cool but people are going to go around and say don't go to gomez's ch chat because he's he's a creep because he did something wrong in his in his past and we're never, ever, ever going to let him live it down. He don't have a record. He's not a criminal. He's not a predator. He's not a kitty diddler, anything like that. But he, he's never going to live it down, even if, because he won't admit to it. You guys are going to stick him to it. Why don't you make Nicole stick to it? She sat there and denied what she did. You guys have all heard her do it. No. FM. Why'd you say everyone has it out for Scotty now? And then you complain about people going in on his family or going in on your relationship. You sat up there on that panel and complained about people trying to go in on your and Nicola's relationship. You, Scotty, are you serious? No wonder Scotty just said, yeah. What if Scotty hammered you day in and day out? What if I was what if I was Scott and I sat over here on a 24-7 stream and talked about you numerous times a day? About you and Nicola and how I want Nicola or I want you and how you needed to have your girlfriend get a mic to join in. Y'all know you heard Diana say she didn't want her boyfriend used her fiance used so what do they all do go in there with his name doing it more you can't just have fun with doing what you got you gotta take more and not all of you if the shoe fits put it on next it'll be I'm some kind of saint no I did my shit I've owned my stuff. What I'm trying to get done here is, um, how can I put this without saying it? Hold on. I'm trying to get those names I keep saying to stand up and say something about it.
to own it and not do it. No apology needed. And then to stop it. Or if you want to be like Scott and Nicola, and you, you just, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you, uh, 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 you're just stupid. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> and my God, <laughs> can you imagine? You're just waiting for Becky's life insurance. Don't come over here and preach to me as you sit in a chat and listen to it and say not a flipping word, Jones. Clovis. Do I keep saying your name? Then you say you don't, you're not listening to me, but you know I keep saying your name. Yeah, I wonder why Clovis. Put my ex-husband's name out there in full, typing it, not even just saying it, where people might not know the spelling or might not catch what you said. Typing out my son's first and last name, making sure everyone knows all my last names so they can find my children. Questioning me so you can find my niece. Well, now you know what side of the family she's on, so you can look it up. Because there's a few of you going down a path you're not going to be able to return from. I'll just put it that way. Let you decide if it's going to be karma, if it's going to be you doing it to yourself or whatever. I'm not going to say anymore. But tomorrow I'll hear court, 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 court. Because that's what people do. No, you never heard that come out of my mouth. I don't know, but you know what? I love just having a good time and bullshitting on here. I try to do that. You can't even, what I have to do, I had to fight with Nicole, three people all night long, just, just to try to get them to understand, you know, you don't have to like do this. You can try to have a good time that I was trying to get certain points on there. But no, it was like this Nicola Thirsty bitch trying to come at me with Scotty, who brings her up to tag team. And then brings a third one up because that's not working. And it still didn't work. And then you cried on Diana's. Well, yeah, Scotty. Because you said I was responsible for my niece's death after you hammered it in all morning long, the night before, the day before that. And as soon as you get up on a panel, I ask Diana, he can let, let you up, but that's the first thing you're going to do. And that's the first thing you do. I will tell you. You are going to be in trouble. You're the one I will tell. I will tell you, Scott Bromage, you're going to regret what you're doing. I've got it. I will warn you, Scott Bromage. Now you decide if you want to do it again. Talk shit on me all you want. Talk horse crap all you want. Try to blame it on Urban when he brings up once after you bring it up weeks on end. Hypocritical dick, you are. Something is wrong with you, dude, where you get off on this. I can tell you're a control freak. You could not hold down a job with real management where you had to be under management 
throughout the day. I can tell that much about you. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave. I won't be live streaming anymore. I'm just gonna sit back and see what happens. I might join a few panels. Not over there. I'll see if, if they come after me to shove it down my throat some more. I'll see if he wants to sit over on his own channel and talk about me and mine. Or I'll see if I got his balls up in his fucking mouth and he'll shut him for once. Because I suggest he does shut him. Shove them balls up in your mouth. You don't even know, Scott. You don't even know. And that's no physical threat. And to make it abundantly clear, people... When I was in my car wrecked, I was in college for physical therapy. I had something, some surgery, a surgery done and things didn't work out and I had to have more. I had a cadaver hip bone put in my neck, blah, 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 blah. Well, things didn't work out. And then I tried to have nerves cut in my neck and blah, 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 laser surgery to have the nerves, the pain nerves leading up to your pain sensory, telling your brain that it don't hurt even though it's getting worse and all this other stuff. And that's why I'm on disability. Anything else I need to put out there for people? Because I'm not gonna dox that I had a stroke. Stream this on your stream, Scott. Let your girlfriend hear my other one. I can need to stay bragging about what you did this week. Over and over again, I tried to tell you it wasn't a game to lay off, to back off. When you brought me to tears, you thought, ha, 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 I'm up than you. I'm a better troll than you. I just want to make sure I hammer into you, Scott. Tacos and Clovis. You are the three. Scott, what you've done is pretty much criminal. Flat out fucking criminal. Why do you think Eric backed up? What do you think was going to happen with him? What do you think authorities thought when they heard that? It wasn't going to be no make-believe. I'm going to have the cops bring handcuffs to jail because I'm pressing criminal charges. No, I went straight to the fucking prosecutor. That's where they pick up charges. That's where the charges were to be picked up. That's where the charges were going to be picked up, and Eric damn well knows it. Now, because he's around you again, he thinks he has a free pass because I didn't fall through with it because I told him no. They warned me they could have picked him up with when, even though I told them no. I didn't want to fall through with it. They warned me, you know, you just telling us that you don't want it done. We've already told you that, that we can, you know, they can pick up the charges themselves. whether you want to or not, after you've showed them the evidence. I'm no cop caller, but when it comes to fucking with my family and not fake fucking with them, oh, 
Or were you mentally trying to torture someone to the point because of the death of someone? I think Lori made that quite clear with the murders in her family. I'm sure I'll be the talk after this, me coming out here like this. Just remember, I don't care about the drama. I don't care about you attacking me. I don't care about being called fat. I don't care about you yell, talking about my hair and Becky with the good hair. Have you ever like seen me like totally? No. I'll stand up and go at it with you over that kind of crap. We all do that. Now, maybe, Scott, if you can add one plus one, you'll get a clue of what's going to happen on Monday. Maybe you'll get a clue on why I kept asking you we'll see if the bitch boy in you is going to back down or if you're going to stand tall I double dog dare you to do it tomorrow oh now how's your narc mind going to control that one I say stop talking about it that's what took me so, I'd say stop talking about it that's what took me so long people kept how long have people been calling me a professional victim and I would not specify until yesterday I didn't want to come out and spell it out to people. I figured people could get a clue and have some kind of humanity in them. But that's not possible with the likes of those four people. That's why I haven't talked about it. Who talks about it? Them. And I timed people out when they did that over at Jesse's, and I sent him the screenshot to prove it. I don't give a fuck, Clovis. So that makes up for what you did to my ex husband and my son. Does that make up, Clovis? And you, you know, you know how much you've tried to destroy me, Clovis, through all of it. Same way with Colleen. I've stood my ground. This is the first time I've actually came back and came after. Yeah, came after. So I, I hope you continue to keep it backed up like you're doing right now. Same way with Colleen. Hopefully, Nicola, when she's drunk, she can stay backed up. Scott, on the other hand, well, I'm not the only one making that decision, to be quite honest. And he can come after everything I've got. To fight back. I don't care. I don't think that'll happen. I said his mom, Deborah. That's what I've said about him. I'm going to get in big time trouble for that, I'm sure.
I don't like to think of myself as I think I'm a survivor of my own self when it came to when I called the suicide hotline. I should have got myself off the net and stopped engaging and stopped trying to think I could handle things. When you're in it, I couldn't see it back then. I couldn't see it to know that I was getting worse. All I could think of is I'm determined not to let them beat me down until I was beat down. You know, that's kind of how it works. I think with almost all of that stuff, when you think you can handle something. That's why when it got bad this first time, I decided right now's the time to do this. Right now is the time to call this out. It's gone on since it was the end of January, beginning of February when I come back. That's right, Colleen. It was just a few months ago I was nice to you up on that panel. Sure was. All you got to say is you put my underage daughter's picture out there only for only for one video for one day. Then I took it down. Yeah, thank. Aren't you one that told me that look you were looking for my obituary when I left? Which one of you guys have been in the hospital and Clovis Harmon huts you down and, and finds what hospital you're at in the hospital room? They can't touch your pets or your animals. They're crying out loud. Who's gotten into whose life, Clovis? Hey, Shiz, how you doing? You have to tell me if you want to join because I got my um, hangout link on the other thing. I can put it down in there if you're wanting to join up. It was you, Clovis, that did that. And then you want to go into Scott's and say, Becky's trying to say, OG recruited. I recruited him. That's not true. Clovis, what did your thing say? Your message say? Guys, I'm going to get a drink. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I dropped the link just in case, but yeah, just let me know when I'll look at my phone. I didn't wait for your comment. Sorry, Chiz. One more sec. I'm going to let my dogs out. Hold on.
Take care, Tams. Good morning, Brenda. I'm on the late shift. <laughs> Had to let my dogs back inside. It has gotten chilly out there. I brought my phone back and hid it under the pillow and I can see it. I'm gonna have to search how to shut that off. I mean, I could hear it. If you guys can hear an echo, let me know. I might have to move it. Um, I kind of went over everything that's kind of like the drama that's been happening and where there's a line. Um, that I feel that the four that are crossing that line are Nicola, Tacos, Clovis, and Scott, most definitely. Thank you. And, you know, and uh, I went over how I, I did get mental health help, but I'm not on any medications. It was short term. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind in, um, just to reiterate a little bit, I don't mind in the trolling. I don't mind the drama, it's the trolling that um, goes past a certain line where it reaches into loved ones, deaths, or, you know, I do call it suicide trolling when you're, you're so relentless and you can tell that the person, you know, has had enough and you keep, keep hammering it. And to get off when someone cries or something like that and to think, oh, they won the troll game. But I never denied I liked having a good time, you know. And I think possibly orange might be tacos, but it's an educated guess. Based on observance, based on typing. Just based on where I see that person at it every single time you see her. Yeah, the suicide trolling and death threats from Scotty. He's the one that's gone past the limit and then today he bragged about it. Even after he uh, heard my video to know that it's not a game. Yeah, and how I think he's promoting it to where other people are venturing down past that line too because he actually promotes it and congratulates people like how he congratulates and eggs on Nicola. They had a good time. They had a good time. Like, who, who thought Diana's stream was a good time? Who thought all day yesterday was a good time listening to Nicola in there? Just tear up everybody and anybody she didn't like. But don't you dare touch anything personal or anything about hers. That's why I put out the FM Nicola thing. Yes, that's, that's a very good point. They're just going to put more of a chokehold on us because of people like them. Like we don't already have a chokehold on us. And it'll be from the people who didn't tolerate it, who took their lives because of it, which we all know there's been several on here that have. It could be Aiken. It, 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 it very well could be. That's also a very good educated guess, Chisel. 
good point. Who knows? Actually, now that you say that, yeah, I, I wouldn't know either one. It could could very well be either one. Oh, and talking of the recording, we're uh, calling everyone lurkers, and you look and listen to everything, but yet that's what they're doing is looking and listening to everything. Kim's bad at that, tying people in with that P word and saying she's not going to do the drama, but then laugh about the drama or put her little wows and LOLs in there and like, I can't believe someone would do that, but then be listening to Scott up there just say something utterly way past the line into a death threat or suicide trolling and laugh at it and think it's funny games. That's what got me, uh, I think, about Diana that day when I got put back in the in. It, it, it wasn't even, I don't care if she likes Scotty, got a crush on Scotty. I don't care, like, if she likes Scotty more. Like, I could care less. But just because it wasn't towards you, you think an F, an F you because I said it to her. Because she allowed Scotty to say that to me and just, oh, Scotty. No, uh, and, and she's like, well, what do you do? I can't control no one. Well, yeah, you can. You don't allow it on your panel. You say you're not going to allow it on your panel to stop, and if it don't, you kick them off. That's how you control things. That's how you can sit up there for, for four hours and be abused by Nicola. I just... It, it's that kind of stuff that I just wish people had more of a handle on. Regardless of who it is. Because I tend to, and I did this in high school all the time. I don't know. The ones that are, are being attacked are usually the ones I'll gravitate towards. Always. And then I end up, I end up kind of like trying to speak for others too when it comes to that. And I know I shan't, shouldn't, I know everyone can hold their own, but I do because I just see that it's not right. Right, I know, but, and if she's on other people's panels, I don't expect if, if you're up on somebody else's panel, like if I'm over on somebody else's panel and they're doing it, I can just bounce. I don't need to call it out. I can just bounce and say, I don't want to be a part of it and not call it out. Or I can call it out and stay up on the panel. And if it continues, I can bounce. But when you're on your own panel, you have to have, um, before you even start a live stream, people should know kind of what their ins and outs on what the, is acceptable to them, acceptable behavior and what isn't. Like the, um, something that, dry, it, it's nothing, but something that drives me crazy is when all you hear is like six people talking on a panel and you can't hear anything but the loud noise because everyone's just talking over everyone. I, I just, I have to mute because it'll give me a headache and it's just way too loud for me. Which is, you know, happens a lot and you can't control it and shit happens, I know all that, but that's when I'll try to say, you know, can we take turns? Can we take, you know, I'll, I'll at least attempt to get it done. And if I can't, if I'm on someone else's panel, I just have to bounce, you know, if it gets that way or deal with it. But if I'm on my own panel, I should be able to handle that in some type of way. Right. I told her to apologize to you, which was nice, but she's not responsible for, like, I can't help when, I got a bunch of people and they're slandering different people and that's just that happens but when it gets to calling you the p word or a p defender or um hitting on family or you know things like that it, it just goes over the line i don't know what i said earlier was Diana did let out on that stream, or Nicola did let out on that stream of with Diana that they're in a private hangout. 
So. Oh, yeah, she lets all of the death threats go without calling them out. That was the problem I had. She bounces me for saying F you to her, but doesn't bounce Scotty for doing calling out the shit with my niece. She didn't even, you know, so that that's the kind of crap that. And like I said, like with. When Tams went, I, I know she was mad. And I, and I think she said today that um tacos wasn't responsible for her son's death but when she did that in this channel i called it out no matter how much tacos and i dislike each other i would not i don't think that's cool i don't think that's right and that's just because it's here hey gomez <laughs> The puppy. I can't get into the puppy mill. I can't say the puppy mill, but I love how you guys say it. I, um, Shiz, I think you're a very kind man. I actually really, really like you. I think you're a very cool dude. I think I could sit down and have a combo with you for hours. How you been doing, Gomez? Oh. Uh, another thing I went over, Shiz, before you got here was OG and how I wasn't um, going to deny Gomez because of OG calling me out. That I think what they're trying to do is to isolate him and I think they're all in on it and I think in my opinion, I think FM gets a hold of OG to make sure it happens that way, and they continue to call them out and keep the pressure on. And, um, you know, he's giving it right back to him, but I'm not going to be one of those that falls in line because, oh, my God, OG put out a video thinking he can intimidate me. No, that's not going to happen. And I did put out, but I think he looks like a, a wimpy weasel. <laughs> Which might, she is. Nope, we didn't. We didn't. I felt bad afterwards too. Well, Gomez can even tell you. I don't, I don't, when I, when I get into an argument like that, if I feel like the person really never did anything too wrong, I'll, I have to own it. And, uh, oh yeah, I think it was. I agree. I, I'd have to agree with that. Yeah. And I believe me, I ran my mouth on Gomez. Me and him's had several roadblocks. Hell, I think I mentioned at one time I, I shouted out tracers. And my gosh, what is it? Like, was that three years ago? And people still try to use that against him, saying he's running tracers in his chat. When it was total bullshit. You got to hold on. They want back out. Give me one second. Oh, that's cool. It is, Fizz. In Michigan. <laughs> A little shits. These little dogs. <laughs> they just pulled me. He's trying to get me to go back to the bedroom. <laughs> N-I-D-H-T. I can't even say the word out loud or he'll start howling and walking that way. <laughs> he didn't want to go U-T. <laughs> I 
Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm, I've been there several times. I'm originally Illinois. Thank God I'm out of Illinois, though. Never seen such bad roads as Illinois. Patchwork all the way through. And, well, it's all Democratic there, so. The rules there are much more strenuous. I remember when my cousins come out to visit. They finally put them in Illinois, but um, they freaked out when we went through like a drive through You drive through the end of the building and all the food and drinks are up there for you to wear. And they're like, wow, you don't even have to go in a store here. <laughs> oh, you moved to Illinois too? You, you ever heard of like Peoria? or peak in Illinois. I lived about an hour or so away from there. Corn country for sure. Grew up to tasseling corn there. Yep. One of my cousin's sons, um, is a cop in Peoria. Boy, the gang activity in Peoria is bad. And his brother works in Pekin, the next city over. Gang activity is bad there too. Cool. Yep, yep. We were in Peoria all the time. That, um, bridge right there seen many accidents that bridge in between Canton and Peoria too I can remember they used to have a dog food plant somewhere down through there and they um had horses before it was illegal and then they had a glue plant there and they used horses hooves to make the glue and the smell was just god awful I mean, you could smell it in your car miles back that as you were approaching the building, passing down the highway and, and continuing on. Yeah, gangs all over. Man, it used to be here. I mean, you could go to a certain end of town and you'd see a prostitute here or there or you knew gang activity happened, but you really never really saw it unless you were up in the middle of the night on that end of town. But now it's everywhere and it's, you know, it, it kind of freaks you out because during the day you'll go to this really nice like gas station where nice people are going and all of a sudden there's a shootout. Just never know. That's why I told my kids that road rage and stuff, don't be flipping people off. I can remember just here in Ohio. <laughs> I never really had to worry about it. And then some dude cut me off. Then he slowed down. I don't know. He's just being an asshole. So when I pulled up to the light, I just flipped him off. It, it was two black guys in a car. Next thing I know, they had the gun pointed at me and I'm sitting right beside them. What just happened? Why did I flip around? <laughs> My avatars just flipped. That That's freaky because my phone did nothing there. Let me check again. Yeah, my phone's fine. <laughs> that was freaky. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm getting tired. He's hinting at me to go. Are you guys ready to go night-night? Brenda, are you doing okay?
Uh, my husband told me this a long time ago. And now Clovis will use it a lot of times, but we were in Kroger's one time. And this lady, she had her cart sideways and was real busy. And we sat there and we waited and we waited for her to move it. She looked up at us, didn't do nothing. Kept, you know, didn't move her cart over or nothing. So then we waited. So finally I said, well, maybe she'll be nice and move her cart out loud to where she could hear me. And she turned around and said, or maybe I won't. <laughs> I went off, I went off. Steve thought he was gonna have to pull me off over in the middle of the grocery store. And he's like, Row, kitty cat's got claws. <laughs> Now you can't say that up on here because every they'll call you a cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I was the one that, yeah. I got kicked off the school bus for fighting. I got kicked or got in trouble at school once for fighting. Never kicked out of school, but I got suspended once for fighting. I've I've been in I've. I have a problem, like, I don't want to stand down when it comes to it. Even though, even if I know I'm going to get my ass whipped, I won't stand down too. And that's the thing. Because I'd rather have my ass whipped than stand down. Now that I'm older, of course, I don't, usually don't talk that way to get myself in predicaments, but... Back then I did. And then all my friends, because they knew I'd fight, they put me at the front and pushed me up the front. And I was like, what's back? <laughs> you run your mouth and then you push me to the front? No. <laughs> and then the one time at Charlie Star, it was Country Western Bar, and it usually all, uh, and I was in the back playing pool and was drunk, real drunk on Jack and Coke. And I walked up front to get me uh, another drink and I met, and I walked past this group and they're just reaming this guy. And, you know, I didn't know they knew each other or whatever. I should have just kept my mouth shut, but I was drunk. And I was like, oh, just chill out, have a good time. You know, I'm drunk and all chilled. And then I turned back around and said, another Jack and Coke, please, because I was trying to beat the uh, last call. And next thing I know, uh, a big one of those heavy duty glasses slammed down on my head. They grabbed the back of my hair, slammed my head down onto the um, bars, bar counter. And all three, like I, they drug me out the door and just started stomping on me. <laughs> one of them had work boots on too. <laughs> Took me a minute to get up. I did get my ass. That's the one night I did. The, the one and only time I could truly say I got my ass whooped. I did. <laughs> oh, no. It was moral. Always, It was usually always moral. That one, I ran my, my mouth. I should have just, I said, oh, I'll just chill out and have a good time. And I guess the girl wasn't having it. But, yeah, I got fucked up. My head was swelled the next day. I refused to go to the hospital. And I was puking because I know I had a concussion because I was dizzy and yeah I, I got it they stomped on my head I got up and I threw a few punches in and then uh it was broke up because you know just too busy of a bar but yeah I got my butt whipped that night the only other time that was a little bit embarrassing I didn't lose but and this was right out of high school I remember I was working at a, a clothing store out at the mall and I had on this pencil skirt, pantyhose, high heels, and a pink turtleneck sweater. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> and <laughs> so I'm talking to he was a good he was a good friend of mine. He hadn't been for years, but he had this new girlfriend 
she didn't know who I was and she pulled up in the park. I just got off work and went and we went down to the park to hang out there and sit on top of our cars and chat and shit and get high, whatever back then, um, after work. And we're just sitting there and we were smoking a joint. And she ran her mouth to me. And he tried to tell her, but she was having none of it. So we fought right there. And she ends up, I'm on the ground and she's on top of me because I got a pencil skirt on. Okay, she says, I could not spread my legs. <laughs> and my friend's there and she's like, rip your skirt, rip your skirt. <laughs> So I took off, um, I kicked off my heels, I grabbed my heel, to, took it down the back of my skirt, and ripped the whole back end. It was a split skirt in the back anyway, but I ripped the rest of it so I could spread my legs, and then I, uh, then I got my legs around her and flipped her over and just started laying into her. <laughs> but my ass was hanging out. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> we ended up to be good friends. <laughs> right? It's all Disney's fault. Man, is that an evil company. Let me take a drink here. I'm glad to hear you're doing. You got what? Wait, uh, what did I miss when I was talking about my... I saw you were doing good and I wanted to comment on that. That's good to hear. But I streamed, I went clear up. Did you say you got stabbed? Who got stabbed? Shizzle, you got stabbed. And you got defensive wounds on you? <laughs> We've been around, haven't we, folks? <laughs> how'd you get stabbed? You have to tell me how you got stabbed. And how'd you get defensive scars on your arms, Brenda? I know, right? It's like we didn't even know why we were really fighting. Just, you know, just not, not understanding. Oh, yes. I'm hot. It might be because I got my laptop with the pillow with the phone on top of it. So I'm heating the pillow up with two electronic devices and I got the heater running behind me. <laughs> he does. Disney's awful. Do you guys remember like way back when they even had the mirror out and uh, you're, it was a mirror that could talk to you and then it came from China or something like that, and it said something really screwed up with kids. Ooh, you've been in a knife fight too. I don't know if I could ever do it, but that's the one thing. When um, my son took MMA, <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's be what it's all about. Hell yeah. Two people, too. Two people jumping you and pulled out the blade. Dang. Nowadays, you have to, instead of the blade, more or less, you have to worry about guns. But when my, um, the beginning of my son's MMA, and, and they go over it a lot, but they do what's called street schooling. And then they have where um, classes were just like self-defense classes where anyone can sign up. And they have different levels. Like even if you have a walker or a cane, you can sign up for a class where they'll teach you how you can use your assistive device to like trip or hit someone with it if you have to, if you can, you know, and little tricks like that. Well, I took the more advanced one. Back then I was more in shape and 
um, they, I learned how to disarm and all that, but, and the thing about it is if you don't use it, if you don't practice it, like my son can, he's always practicing his moves and stuff. And they always are sparring, what they call sparring and doing all that in between all their workouts. But so they use it. So I don't know if I could ever utilize it. I think this instincts kick in. You don't want that knife to stab you. You're going to do what you have to do. Purple River stabbing. Let me like that up. Trial day five. Stab stabbing took place on the Apple River near the Sunrise Bridge in Somerset, Wisconsin. One was looking for a friend. Ariel, the cell phone in the river, but was confronted by YouTubers or by tubers. YouTubers, I said YouTubers. I like inner tubers out on the water. Okay. Said he was acting sketchy. Wow, stabbed five people on the river. 17 year old boy Isaac was died during the stabbing and four others were injured. Victims range from 17 to 24 and was from Wisconsin and Minnesota. That's a shame. I like to watch some of those trials. That's awful though. Use your shirt to take away their knife. Yeah, yeah, that is one of them. It does work. Yeah, you, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. When I was little or younger, like school bus age and stuff, I don't know. I just like the fight. The, You know, what happened to a good old-fashioned fight and that way everyone goes home in the end? The thing is, is no one can just depend on the other person doing a good old-fashioned fight, so they always come prepared, it seems like. Like, I'm sorry, but if I walked around even the streets here in, in Springfield, hell, well, in my purse, I, I carry a knife. So you kind of have to carry something with you. Knife, pepper spray, and, and my husband, he, he always he's always got a sidearm on. Okay, hold on. Oh, I know it. Okay. Yeah, bear spray's re real good. It's strong. It travels far too. Further, I think it travels further than the pepper spray does, doesn't it? Yeah, I've seen you say something like, you and Urban Disciples both got attacked by dogs. That's something, you know, when I was younger, I used to deliver papers. Them, you know... Traveling around on a bike or walking, you people who don't control their dogs. I'm telling you what. That is so careless. Exactly. Exactly. We've always, you know, 
I, I don't know, if you don't have a big fenced in yard or a place where they can run, or if you're not going to take them to the park every day, I don't think you should own them if you don't have the room. Oh, I know it. I know it. And I see it all the time in the newspaper around here, too. A door dasher got it just a couple weeks ago here. Now he's going through all the tetanus shots and all that stuff. They took the dog and keeping it. And you know the dog will get euthanized now. So the dog is the one who's going to pay for the owner not controlling it. Damn, that was just two nights ago? Yeah. And see, I've always got my shit kickers on my cowboy boot. <laughs> I kick them in the gut, too. Yeah, pit bulls do. I'm, I've owned a pit bull, and I've, I've loved them, gentle as can be. But if you do teach them that way, their, their jaws do lock. So once they bite, it's not like you can just unlock their jaws as easy. They're not illegal here, though. I think a lot of places they become illegal. They're not illegal here. Yeah, I actually know someone that. Well, I don't know them. I don't talk to them, but I know who they are. They end up getting dogs and they have three or four and then they're on chains out in the front yard with no yard. Then all of a sudden, oh, they died. No, you went out and shot them or dropped them off somewhere and they became strays and probably attacked dogs at some point or time or yeah. The shame. Well, folks, I'm going to call it a night, get myself to bed. I'll probably see you guys in a couple of days. I hope you all have a good weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the eclipse if you can see it. Just, I want to really thank you for the support you gave me. You came home early. Daddy's home, guys. I get so excited seeing him. I know it. I am. I just get ready to say goodbye, too. Look, there's China Girl coming to see you. Yes, yeah, after Daddy. Oh. I wanted to thank you, Chiz. The, yeah, thank you very much. I. Night, night, Brenda. Nighters, <laughs> nighters. That's cute. Good night, Brenda. You have a good one. Good night, Gomez. You have a good one. And she's real. I really want to thank you. Just seeing you down in that chat and then in my comment sections, it helped. I just wanted to tell you it helped. I'm usually not weak like that. Um, like I said, when it when it's always hammered, I think it gets to you. But I really want to let you know how much I appreciate that. You won't see me see you for a while. Will you take care of yourself? You're in my thoughts, as always. Take care, all. Good night.